everyone. So recently I watched Glam Life Guru, Guru Tati do the lip product addict tag and I personally own quite a few lipsticks and it's probably one of the biggest collections I have within my makeup collection so there are one, two, three, four, eight questions so let's just get started. Okay, what is your favorite lip balm slash treatment? A little backstory, I have really sensitive lips, I think, because with normal chapstick or lip seal, I tend to break out in a rash on my lips, so one of the ones that I have found that's helped, but I can't use it every single day, is the Blistex Daily Lip Conditioner, which just looks like this. And basically, it comes in a little pot and it just kind of looks like Vaseline, you just rub it on your lips. Yeah, I've been really liking that although I cannot use it every day. Um, best eye catching red. So, I have two to mention here. My favorite is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Color Rush in Rumor Has It. And it comes in a little stick form like this. It does twist up, so when you twist the bottom it does twist up. And this is a great, great red. So I'm going to do a couple swatches. So let's just put this one here. Now this is kind of a, almost like a pink type of red, but definitely comes across as red on the lips. Now if you're looking for a darker red and a more true color red, I have the, what is this, Rimmel. Lasting Finish Lipstick in 166 Temptation, which looks like this, and is very, very dark. So if I swatch it next to the other one, as you can see, it comes up a lot more with a red tone. Love both of these on the lips. Best Luxury and Drugstore Lipstick. Okay, for, let's start with Drugstore, because I have the most Drugstore Lipsticks. So I have really been liking the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate lipsticks, and I have two of these. So I didn't know this at the time of buying. They come in two different kinds of tubes, a red tube, which you can see here, and the black tube. The red tubes are all matte shades, which means they don't have a shine to them, whereas the black tubes do have a shine to them. So let's swatch these quick. The colors I have are 101, which is almost like a My Lips But Better kind of color. So you can see it here on the bottom. This is a tube. And that is the matte formula. So the bottom one. And the black one is in shade 16. And again, this is a shine, just like a normal type of lipstick application. This is more like an orangey shade, which you can see on the bottom there. And again, that's in the shade 16. Really love these lipsticks. I only found them recently, in January, I think. So I wear the matte one almost every single day, and I absolutely love it. Okay, for my luxury lipstick, I actually only have one. And I discovered this recently, and I was making a purchase for my Urban Decay Naked palette, the original one. And they had a deal where if you bought so much money worth of products you got some for a discounted price so i come up with this ysl lipstick which is adorable i've never ever seen packaging this nice and this is the rouge Volup shine in number 13. And as you can see the color is actually shown behind the little middle gorgeous packaging so this is the color and i'll swatch it on the bottom Now compared to the Rouge Volup, these are a lot more sheared out, but they do give good color payoff, and you can see it on the bottom there. Again, great shade to wear every single day. Best MAC lipstick. Like I said, I only have my YSL lipstick from high end, so I actually don't own any MAC lipstick, so I'm just going to skip that one. Most disappointing product. Okay. In the UK, we have a brand called MUA, which is Makeup Academy. And 
they come out a couple months ago with the matte formulation for their lipsticks. Now I actually bought two of these because I was really excited and this one is called Wild Berry and as you can see it looks very very dark in the tube and also on the bottom it looks very dark. But when you actually swatch them barely barely any color payoff comes so that's a swatch. They're very very sheer and they feel very drying on the lips and if you have any chapped dry skin pieces it will cling to it and it just doesn't look nice on the lips so although it was only a pound wasn't too excited about it liner so I personally don't wear liner and I haven't really bought that many but I have tried a couple from MUA and I didn't find that they actually made any difference so I am not a liner girl and I probably never will be best gloss now I've explained this a lot on my blog and also a lot in comments, but I hate the feeling of lip gloss on the lips. I don't like it when it's sticky and I don't like it when it's runny. And overall I'm very, very not into how things feel on the lips. So I actually found my holy grail lip gloss and I will never ever use any other lip gloss apart from these. And this is the Maybelline New York Color Sensational Shine Gloss. Now I own two of these. I have a kind of a clearer version. And this is Pink Shock. And this is so gorgeous on the lips. It adds a little color. But it's not too bad. But it's not sticky in the slightest. It feels creamy on the lips and it feels moisturizing. But it does not feel sticky which is amazing. So there's a swatch there. Again, these are great, and if you do not like sticky lip glosses, I would highly, highly recommend these. Now, the last question is something extra, and so I decided to show two different types of lipsticks here. Now, I mentioned the MUA Matte Lipsticks, which I was very disappointed with, and I didn't feel that they were worth my money. But the normal lipsticks are amazing, and I actually have four of them. As you can see here and these stay on your lips they are the slightest bit drying but it's not too bad and I don't again I'm very sensitive with my lips and I don't find I have any problems as long as I put a gloss over top so almost every single time that I use these I will wear the Maybelline shine gloss over the top and they do not give me any discomfort throughout the day now I have four of these so I'm gonna quickly swatch all of these this one's in shade Bare, but I've actually put this on my blog and someone thinks that this is not the right tube. So I have a feeling this isn't the right color for Bare, but it's like an orange shade. So I'm gonna swatch these just in this part of my arm. So bam, look at that color, look at that color. So bright, so vibrant, a pound. Can't go wrong. This is the lipstick in shade 12. This one's a little bit more sheared out, but it's a great red with some spark on it. So again, here. Then we've got shade 3, which is a bright pink color. Now I have been recently loving this color. And this is also one of my pop, almost sort of like a red. And oh, I love this with a bold smoky eye, which I do actually have a tutorial with. So I will link that down below. But it's this one here. And then this is shade number two, which looks like a dark plum, almost like a purple shade. And because purple has become very, very in this year, I decided to pick this one up and I absolutely think it looks stunning on the lips. So as you can see, it's there. And it does put a slight purple tint to your lips, but overall it looks really, really nice, especially again with a bold eye. And the last thing I'm going to mention for my something extra, which I really felt I should put these in here, are the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. Now again, I have very sensitive, dry, chapped, very, very sensitive lips, and I find that these are very, very moisturizing. So. I would highly recommend these to anyone who wants a little bit of moisture and a little bit of creaminess to their lipstick apart instead of being such a dry formula. 
This is in the shade Lollipop. Let's stick it on the end. Again, very, very pigmented. So that's Lollipop. And then we've got Sweet Tart, which this one I've, oh, you can all see, I've almost used quite, quite a bit of it. And this one's like a hot pink, very, very vibrant pink. So just right there. And that is the Lip lip Product Addict Tag. Whew, that's a tongue twister. Um, I tag any of you to do this video and I would love to see your answers. Even if you do not leave a video response, please leave down in the comments below what your answers would be for these questions and I'd love to read them. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you have any uh, suggestions on what kinds of videos you'd like to see, please um, leave them in a comment down below. Thanks guys, bye!